Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising for the third week of August 2017. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. If this is your first time, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for all the support and I want to say to you, please go back and listen to the month reading of August because there are certain messages that is in there and that will help you throughout this month because this month of August has five weeks. This is the third week. So you can go to the monthly reading and listen from the third week until the end of August. Okay. It is good whenever you listen to your weekly read, your monthly reading and weekly readings because you will know what energy vibration is coming for it. Whatever the situation that is in your week, it is going to be a week of the energy of the tower. So a lot of cleansing will be happening to you Capricorns in this week. A lot of cleansing. Whatever the situation is, there's going to be a lot of cleansing happening. And the zodiac energy vibration is fire. So there is going to be, you're working with the fire energies to cleanse whatever um, situation that is not uh, um that is not um, um, positive in your life so there is going to be a lot of release releasing of things in this week so sorry whatever is happening I'm looking for my glass and there's going to be releasing of things okay it's going to be a very stable week for you Capricorns whatever is happening it's going to be a very stable week it's going to be a, a week of um, um, some people say a week of balance a week of balance whatever the situation is um, it's going to be a week of balance so whatever is, is is playing out in this week it's going to be a wonderful week of balance because I'm seeing that the night of once is bringing news and this news is good news is six of ones and six of ones is always good news coming into you and uh, um, that is going to bring you um, of the four of ones which is celebration a balance in everything it's as if your emotional your emotional and financial world is in balance all aspect of yourself is going to be in balance because on Monday the night of ones is going to bring you um, a news good news because it's a six of ones which is always positive news coming in and and um, and then we have another four of swords that on Thursday you need to have rest you need to find inner peace you need to find rest so on Friday there is a three of swords um, jealousy of whatever the situation and I love this because I'm I'm using the deck I'm using a new deck um, and a lot of people I apologize a lot of people ask me for the name of the decks I'm using the orbit this is a new deck that I found and this is a wonderful deck I personally love it because there's a lot of messages it's a super cool deck I, I love it because of the Hurtley form and the the, the, the um, the creation of uh, you know people they're like dwarfs and that sort of a thing and I like the magic the, the mystical world and um, uh, the or the, the orbits the orbits the orbits is nice I remember my friend used to say I have of its toes so it's it's super cool so anyway number four is going to play a significant role number four 44 is going to play a significant role whatever is happening with that good news a lot of jealousy or is going to be there because you have the energy of the three of swords you have the five of wands conflict so on Friday you have the three of swords and on Saturday you have uh, the five of wands conflicts but uh, this conflicts is a f uh, is a friendly competition that sort of a thing this is a friendly competition but the outcomes is going to be the energy of the Sun so this is a wonderful week it's a balanced week so again you have the, the number the number four and which is significance number four number three and number four okay whatever is happening in your week as I've said the tower is going to bring cleansing and you are going to be working with the energy vibration of the three of ones you're going to start something you're going to start working with and connecting with people in this week so this week the third week beginning from the 14th until the 20th of August you are going to be connecting with groups of people you're going to be starting to work with groups of people so some people will begin their new jobs some people are uh, at 
that's cool some people are going to connect with other people to bring something wonderful in their lives and this is going to be very very positive um we're going to look deeper to see what is going to happen because there's going to be a, 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 a newness good things good news new nets is coming in your life okay let's see what other messages are here before I start to do the reading what other messages are here before I start to do your reading what other messages are here um, before I start to do your reading Wow okay 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 we have the four and we have the number four and the number six we have the number four and the number six number four number six number four and number six four plus six is ten so we have one four six and ten in this week one four six ten and three one three four six and ten one three four six and ten remember your week is going to be a week of, of cele um, not yes yeah, celebration but yet still a week of moving away from something and starting something new with a um, group of people you'll be working with group of people because the energy of the number three is always working with groups of people and connecting so this is going to be very good as we look at your week on Monday, as I said, you have the energy of the Knight of Wands. Whatever the situation is, it's a positive situation. The Knight of Wands is going to help you to bring um, whatever you're working on. And um, the Seven of Pentacles, because some people see the Seven of Pentacles is as um, it's this is it, with these two energies is that the Knight of Pentacles is going to show you how you can make money. Okay. So this Knight of Wands, sorry, Knight of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Wands is going to show you how you can make money. Whoever this person is, is a young person. For some people, it's going to be younger than them. For some people, this is someone who is between the ages of 18 and 35. And he's going to come in and help maybe the older people or maybe um, someone who is an Leo Aries or Sagittarius is going to come in and show you how to make money so this is positive this is extremely positive maybe it's someone that is in university and they are going to come in and show you that you can apply and work um, 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 and work also to pay you know your university um, cost and living cost and that sort of a thing or whatever it is this person who is an a young person who is an Aries uh, uh, Leo or Sagittarius is going to come in your life on Monday to show you how to make money okay on Tuesday another um, it's all about work in this week it's all about work so a lot of people are going to start new work on if you have already start your work or whatever it's going to be all about work in this week what we have is that we have the six of one six of ones is always good news it doesn't matter really matter what is going on it's all about good news good news is coming in so this night of uh, the night of um um, ones who oh, is Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius is going to come in and bring you good news about how to make money but uh, how also to release yourself uh, from the ten of wands so whatever is happening this night is going to uh, this news about burdensome situation are going to come in but it's going to is it's as if uh, is a message of how you can release yourself from whatever um, situation so um, some people I see will be having a lot to do a lot to do in this week uh, work uh, um, you have your own stuff you're doing your own stuff but yet still you're working you're doing this you're doing that so a lot you're gonna feel as if you're burdensome because um, a new information is going to come in and you're going to feel as if you're burdensome but it's uh, you know see it as uh, you know you you have too much on your plate on Tuesday but it's it's good news that is coming in whatever the news is, is that's coming in it's good news 
you have the energy vibration of the four of ones whatever the energy of the four of ones is a celebration the four of ones is always a celebration whatever is happening the four of one is always a celebration so this week it's going to be a celebration a new celebration of you connecting with other people it's all about work in this week with the four of ones you have the energy of the moon so this is good because you're celebrating because you're finally um, connecting with your spirit guides and the unseen world and through this uh, um, whoever your angels and guides and your spirit guides are and your they're helping you they're helping you to sort out certain things and certain aspect of who you are so this is extremely positive so um whatever is happening for you guys in this week you need to understand that by there is going to be a celebration between you and your spirit guides because finally things are coming to an end things are working out in your favor it's it's really a wonderful week because there's really a, um, a week of celebration that is happening as we move forward we have the four of sword and four of sword it's time for you to take rest time for you to take rest whatever the situation is you need to take rest you have the six of ones twice so good news is coming in whatever it is on Thursday another good news is coming in and this is going to be good because you add the energy of the six of ones Whenever this energy of the six of ones comes in, it is going to be a positive, positive energy. So um, on Thursday, you know, you are resting, but yet still good news is going to come in on Thursday, which is a very positive situation, very extremely positive situation. So this is going to be good for you guys. So you're resting. The four of sword is always a time when you take to rest and reconsider. So good news is coming in on Thursday. On Friday, you have the three of swords, and the three of swords is always a loss of something, and um, whatever it is, it has to do with a child. So on Friday, the loss of money for some people, you're going to lose some money whatever that was happening or you have to pay something that you know wasn't um, yeah it as if some extras come up that you have to pay it's going to be a loss because it's, it's a loss in your financial situation because you're looking deeper in your financial situation you're wondering did I really hold this bill did I really um, you know that sort of a thing so it's a situation with a loss with your financial situation so whatever is happening there is going to be a loss coming up and um, it's it's about money it's about you paying extra for some people and and some it is a loss with an child uh, as if a child did something that you have to pay extra for and it costs you okay so that is going to be what is happening on Friday on Saturday we have the five of ones conflicts and this is competition on uh, yeah this is competitions that is happening between you and other people as I've always said stay out of these friendly competition because um, if somebody need to come uh, have a competition against you that means uh, um, you know you're good so you know let them just go and compete and, 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 and you know whatever it is uh, you're going to win this competition okay so if there if there was a competition you're going to win this competition because obviously there's a friendly competition and you are going to win because there you are standing so if it's a man if there if you're a man and there was a, a friendly competition you're going to lose if it's a frau you're going to win this competition whatever that was happening that people were trying to compete on you on Saturday you're going to win this competition if you're a woman if you're a man you're going to lose it so be aware of who you want to compete with I don't like these competition things I never um, like doing these things so on Sunday it's going to be wonderful so congratulations to the people because I've uh, said this week is going to be a very very positive week and not that all the men are going to lose because uh, you are um, the, the, the Capricorn and it's your week so whoever is having a competition between you you are going to be the winner okay so on Sunday the Sun comes out because of course you are the winner and then you have the Sun coming out with the six of cups so it's as if whatever the competition was you win the competition and you're seeing now that you're connected with your own soul group with your own soul group and this is a very very positive so it's going to be a completely wonderful week whoever that is trying to have competition um, with you you're going to um, you know 
win this competition whoever these people are because sometimes I it seems to get also competition but I, I don't do I don't do competition thing you know I have my own thing my own ideas so think about this you're a Capricorn do not go in competition with people because people who go in competition is because of their ego base you know they want to do as if they're better and do as if they're good it's okay let them com compete with themselves okay they need a little help so as we look at your week it's going to be a positive week in the first half of the week you have the energy of the six of one so good news whatever the situation was uh, um, I see a lot of people being bogged down with a lot of work a lot of stuff need to get done in the first week so whatever is happening in your life in the first week you're going to see that a lot of work you need to get a lot of work and a lot of situation need to be done and uh, the night of uh, ones is going to come and help you with a, a sort of competition that is going on he's going to help you and teach you to make money and whatever is happening with that competition you're going to win the competition so if you're a Capricorn and you're you know you're training you're studying for something um, you know it's your new it's, it's, it's you're in a new job that sort of a thing and people want to come to, to have friendly competition but you don't do it just do what you know to do just uh, um, don't try to be in a competition just uh, learn whatever you need to learn just do whatever you need to learn and and and, and don't go in competition with people whatever it's going to be in the first act of the week you have the energy of the six of Pentacles and this is a new card deck and for every card deck there is um, a different sort of a um, explanation to certain things and um, this is this is very positive so whatever is going on you need to understand that whatever the competition is because you have the six of wands um, this energy whatever the, the the competition is the six of wands is victory yeah six of one is victory being the center of attention and feeling of um, accomplishment able to make things in stride so this is good so as I've said the first half of the week is going to be very positive so whoever want to compete with you don't do any competition because you're going to be victorious in any way this set of the week is the four of ones and the four of ones is always a good stable balance okay working with others towards a, a corporation um, a cooperative purpose celebration um, collective um, achievement being part of something feeling that one's contribution is valuable so this is this is extremely good so this is a positive week for you people in work this is all in work and study whatever is going on this is a positive week all in work and study as we move forward and we're looking at the second half of the week the energy of the Sun comes out and the energy of the Sun is always success it's always success but what we have also is that the three of swords with the page of coins and I've, I've given the message for some people it's going to be a situation with a child that a child did something that's going to cost you more and I want to ask um, my angels and guide what is going to be this energy with the three of swords and the page of pentacles or the three of swords and the page of pentacles what is here behind this message three of swords and the page of pentacles so three of swords and the page of pentacles what what is happening okay let me show you you got the energy of um heartbreak the three of pentacles okay so I asked the message it has to do with an organization and it has to be with people working against you in an organization and but yet still you have a friend okay so for some people it has to do with an organization organization and people working against you in organization but yet still you have a friend that is protecting you you have someone that is protecting you in this organization so whoever and whatever the situation is because you've seen the three of hearts heartbreaks and uh, the page of coins so it's something as if you know something was um, you're looking because someone is lying you got an extra bill that that isn't correct and uh, 
is something to do with an organization you're receiving this you know like this bill from an organization and somebody um, is, is working against you but yet still you have a friend that is going to help you out so this is going to be good I like to ask messages about these things because people are, are really dishonest especially in this time people dislike you for whatever reason and that sort of a thing so we're going to look forward look uh, um, um, fully in um, a sort of a situation that is happening so because of uh, you know you're in the spotlight and things are going good for you um, there's going to be jealousy jealousy is always a tree of source jealousy lies uh, um, and, and and that makes you feel bad but and it, whatever it is in the outcome what you're going to see is that you are going to be justified because you have the energy of the six you have the energy of the six of ones again so in this week in the beginning of the week you have the energy of the six of ones in the ending of this week you also have the energy of the six of one so this is good whatever is happening um, it's good news all around in this week and it's all about your work and your business aspect another victory victory confidence from um, external uh, motivation and receiving af um, af um, affirmations and praises for one's effort so whatever it is it's going to be it's going to be a positive positive in the beginning of the week and from the week because this week is a week of celebration this week is a week of you working with other people okay so I clear that one up because I like to know um, I really 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 like to know because you know people are dishonest you will never imagine how dishonest people are so let's go and see what chakras should a Capricorn be working on with this uh, the chakras of the base chakra so whatever is happening is a chakra of the base chakra you should be working on in this week and remember it's not your first chakra um, the energy of the base chakra it's not your first chakra um, base chakra and someone else got the energy of the base chakra also so um, don't feel bad so you're going to use you're going to look for your inner passion your inner power uh, the sound is going to be lamb l-a-m l-a-m lamb and the earth energy is earth because you're an earth sign and um, it is going to be the other in a canal and then you're going to I have so whatever is happening just know that you have whatever you need you have the purpose to be good you have all the possibilities of all that you need in this week so it's going to be the energy of I have I have I have it's not that I want I have okay whatever the situation is I have free falling is your energy for this week because I'm using the um, the Oracle of the E this is the back of the card I'm using the Oracle of the E and it says free falling and let's see what free falling free falling and free falling you know I can imagine what it is going to say because free falling it doesn't get much better than this deep radical trust that a, a, a parents means that nothing that you and only you are the captain of your ship what you say goes you are in understanding motion and unseen forces are awaiting your command so this is wonderful so you know whatever situation I'm called you just say I'm calling up on my angels and guides and unseen forces for divine intervention in whatever situation that is going on around me I'm open up my hand and releasing whatever the situation the conflicts or whatever the, 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 the friendly competition whatever that is going on in my life just call upon the unseen world and command them I'm commanding the unseen world for divine intervention in whatever situation that is going on around me and step in and um, and I'm commanding you to take over the situation and deal with it okay so this is wonderful so uh, you know it doesn't get any better than this this is a wonderful messages to leave um, you guys in this week and yet still we have one more messages because we're working with the angel the answers of the angel so let's see what this uh, um, answer is so for the people who have a message in this week for the people who have a message in this week I'm calling upon the angels to um, 
release the answers to the Capricorns who have a message in this week Capricorn Sun Moon Horizon romance romance okay the strangest thing is that there was no thing not much about romance in this week the only thing that you had was on Sunday because I never spoke about romance because it was a week of work. The only thing that you had on Sunday was that you're connecting with soul family. So maybe on Sunday you're calling your partner or you're connecting with your partner on Sunday, but there was not much about romance in this week. So whenever I don't speak about something, that means the energy vibration is not in this week. This week was, uh, uh, was all about uh, um, connecting with other people doing things connecting with other people whatever the situation is but romance comes up in this week and it can say that fine um, love because this week is about the base chakra so it's always finding your power to work for uh, finding that passion and your power finding your inner light to heal whatever it is so you can move forward so you can start making um, good um, adjustment to your life um, so that you have your materialistic aspect because the base chakra is always about your your um, personal because there's nothing about money in this week it's all about work 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 and um, people teaching you to make more money in your life so romance comes up so I guess because the energy of um, you not connecting um, in love it's all about you your business life and making money romance come up and let's um, see what a romance what is the message from romance a very important relationship is about to enter your life or as recently enter your life this is the romance you have been waiting for like our all partnership there may be ups and down but don't let the, the let that the term the shape of your confidence have faith that love is coming into your life to stay if your question was about current relationship, you can expect the parties to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. All relationships have peaks and val. The card indicates an upcoming move to a new level of uh, dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of commitment to another person so whatever is happening your relationship is okay and if you haven't met someone if you're single you're about to meet someone if you are in a relationship or you might meet someone else so you know because it says a very very important relationship is about to enter your life or as recently enter your life this is the romance you have been waiting for so a lot of people because sometimes you're in relationship and you meet someone else and it is exactly what you have been looking for this can happen and it always happen um, have faith that love is coming in your life to stay if your question was about current relationship you can expect the parties to be closer so if you were in a relationship you can expect that you both are going to get closer um, a past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow all relationships have peaks and val this card indicates an upcoming a mo movement to a new level of uh, dedication and intimacy this can include engagement marriage or a form of a recommission to another person so this is a very 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 positive so you have free fall and you have the balance and you have the relationship so this is a week about work this is a week about finding your inner passion this is a week about you connecting on a higher energy vibration this is going to happen for you guys um, it's, it's a week of just work focusing on work focusing on how you can make extra money focusing on how but it's it's good news all around because the six of ones is here in this news so it's going to be good news all around whatever is happening with the three of swords and the page um, that uh, on Friday whatever is happening it is that uh, um, there's people in an organization that are trying to block you but the, yet still there is a friend okay there is a friend that is going to be there for you so I want to say thank you to each and every person out there and please listen to your monthly readings again from week three until week four and I'm saying namaste till next week